It's called nitrazepam. If you're into science, keep watching, but if you're not, just, just stop watching and take the drug. <laughs> nitrazepam has an electron withdrawing nitro group and it also has an amid group. It is readily absorbed into the GI tract and is extensively bound to plasma proteins. Overdosing results in intoxication or slurred speech. Overdoses with nitrazepam happen often. Severe overdoses result in comas and destroy your central nervous system. Nitrazepam is a benzodiazepine, a type of medicine that acts on benzodiazepine receptors in the brain. These receptors are much associated with GABA, or gamma aminobutyric acid receptors in the brain. Nitrazepam acts on these receptors by enhancing the binding of GABA to them. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. This makes sense given that nitrazepam is a depressant and slows your nervous system. This induces sleepiness, muscular relaxation, and control of anxiety and fits, as well as slowing the central nervous system as a whole. By the mid-1970s, over 40 million benzodiazepine prescriptions were being written each year, even though dependence and psychiatric side effects were common from the start. The most known benzodiazepine is diazepam, or Valium. As of 2009, 1.5 million people were addicted to benzodiazepines. The mechanism is a step in the synthesis of nit nitrazepam, according to the journal article. This is an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction that ends with the formation of a complicated ketone. Over here, you can see that the electrons from this double bond attack a positive charge on the other molecule and they both combine to form this intermediate molecule. Over here, the, a base pulls away the hydrogen and deprotonates the molecule to form a double bond, and we have a final molecule over here. So, put, so to put it simply, nitrazepam is a benzodiapine that attacks uh, receptors in your mind and makes you sleepy, as you can tell from these two. That's it. He doesn't make it strong Cut that out. 